Massage Therapists. Hi, Mr. Dale. My yeah. name is Peggy. I'm the Massage Therapy Coordinator. Just Far beyond know. simply helping one feel good, massage has a wide range of health benefits. It has a significant effect on a person's physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Um, is there any place in particular that's uncomfortable that you'd like us to concentrate on? With a variety of hands-on methods, a skilled massage therapist not only stretches and loosens muscle and connective tissue, but also improves blood flow and the movement of lymph throughout the body. The therapist's hands facilitate the removal of built-up metabolic waste products, which result from exercise or inactivity. This allows oxygen and nutrients to reach the cells and tissues more easily. Now there's uh, more of an opportunity for people to come into this type of work and have it accepted and looked at as a very beneficial mode for hospitals or clinics. Those who practice in hospitals strive to relieve patients' physical pain and emotional stress that accompany illness. For chronically ill patients, massage can dull the perception of pain as well as reducing anxiety, tension, and depression. This is an opportunity for nursing to bridge um, that sort of gap. So a lot of nurses that get burnt out, this is a way that you can move into a different area of the hospital and still do healing and caregiving, but in a different way. It feels like my circulation's coming back. Some therapists may focus primarily on a single massage technique, but most tend to combine a variety of techniques in their work, which allows them to tailor each session to the specific needs of the client. There's a big difference in having someone come in off the street that might want some body work as opposed to someone that's in a very vulnerable position in, in a hospital bed. Massage therapists practice in a variety of settings, and a single therapist may practice at several different sites in one day. They may work in their own private office or in hospitals, health clubs, sports training rooms, beauty and tanning salons, and chiropractor's offices. More than half of all massage therapists work part-time and own their own private practice. Therefore, they must possess the skills and knowledge to operate a successful small business. Knowledge of bookkeeping, marketing, and advertising is very helpful. Therapists must be strong and in good health because the work is physically demanding. Although massage therapy can be learned on the job, most practitioners have completed formal schooling. I would highly recommend a, a school of massage, and mostly because there's national certification and various ordinances within the states that they're requiring certification to do this type of work to keep it in the scope of a therapeutic modality. Being able to either do volunteer work or internship hours in an area that you find of interest really will help you choose what you like to do. To be a certified massage therapist, the applicant must pass both a written and practical examination administered by an accredited school. There are currently over 60 programs nationwide that are approved by the American Massage Therapy Association. Accredited training programs can take from one to two years to complete and consist of at least 500 hours of classroom instruction. Typical job duties include talking with the client to understand their needs, using the hands to sense swelling or muscular tension, applying deep pressure on a contracted muscle, and massaging a muscle to remove tightness. The average income is twenty to $29,000 per year for full-time therapists. However, most massage therapists work part-time and therefore have lower incomes. Training includes graduation from a certified school of massage therapy, which can take from one to two years, depending upon the program. Many states require massage therapists to be licensed, either by the state or by the local municipality where they practice. The employment outlook is good. The demand for qualified massage therapists has grown steadily as the therapeutic benefits are being more widely recognized. More physicians are prescribing massage for their patients, 
particularly in cases of auto accidents and workers' compensation claims. However, it can be hard work and take time to build up a private practice. For more information, write to the American Massage Therapy Association, 820 Davis Street, Suite 100, Evanston, Illinois, 60201.